My name is Scott Jeffrey. I'm a fire captain with Nelson Fire Rescue, and I'm here today to talk to you about FireSmart and FireSmart assessments in our unique mountain community. FireSmart is a program that looks at how to make your home more resilient in the case of a wildfire. It looks at the building construction and materials, how that building is oriented against its landscape, and how fire might move from landscape onto your building. The end goal it really is to prevent your home from catching on fire. Here in Nelson, we live in a dense urban community where most of our homes are not immediately adjacent to the forest, but we do face a threat of wildfire approaching from the distance on a wind-driven fire and embers spreading to homes throughout the town. So FireSmart is the best way to give your home a helping hand and make it more resilient to that worst case wildfire. The most effective place a homeowner can start uh, taking action around their house with FireSmart principles is in the immediate zone. And that immediate zone is 1.5 meters around their home. This is where your efforts are gonna be most effective. The ways you can focus on this 1.5 meters around your home is ensuring that you don't have any combustible shrubs or conifers in this zone. Nelson has actually en enacted a bylaw that prevents the planting of new coniferous shrubs and conifers within that 1.5 meters. So really taking a preventative step of the introduction of those flammables nearby houses. In the event of an ember-driven wildfire, the first vulnerability that your house is subject to is the rooftop. The rooftop and gutters is where uh, an ember might land and get established, especially if there's a old debris that hasn't been cleaned up. So uh, during any fire smart assessment, we're gonna look at the roof first off. You can check those gutters, make sure that they're cleaned in the spring before wildfires, and then again in the fall to make sure they perform through the winter. Important aspects of the building construction come into play in FireSmart. Uh, we look at vents, screenings, openings, size of windows and placement. And but one of the most important things is how that building interfaces with the ground. What we want to do is prevent a ground fire from getting established into the building. And one of the most effective ways of this is having a non-combustible barrier at the base of your siding. So the building code recommends six inches of non-combustible at the, the base of a building. And whatever we can do to enhance that, uh, be it a little bit of non-combustible service treatment or mitigating that with a flashing is a way to go to give that building a helping hand in the event of a wildfire. FireSmart recommends that all wood and other combustibles, uh, specifically firewood, be stored uh, more than 10 meters from the house. In Nelson, this isn't always possible because of our small lots, but what we'd like to encourage people during our FireSmart assessments is to always focus on that 1.5 meters. Ensure there's zero combustibles within that 1.5 meters. Now, when it comes to firewood, this might be seasonally moving your wood, ensuring that during summer, there's zero wood adjacent to your house. And during winter, when there's no wildfire risk, you might have the wood stored in a more convenient place. If your home has a wooden deck, we recommend that you remove any combustibles under there. That might be uh, stored with firewood or dimensional lumber. Anything that can burn should be removed from under that deck. The more combustible material you keep under your deck, the more difficult it is to keep clean. And what you really want is ensure that there's no leaves or needles that can build up and, and start a fire under there. When you're ready to book a fire smart assessment, give us a call at 250-352-8116. We look forward to the opportunity to connect. Together, we can reduce the impacts of wildfire in our community.